next question tells us that the nth term of a sequence is 6n plus 5. For part A, we're asked to write down the 10th term in the sequence. So this is where n, the term number, would be 10. So I'm going to substitute in 10 into 6n plus 5. That gives us 6 multiplied by 10 plus 5, which is 60 plus 5. And so the 10th term in the sequence will be 65. For part B, the nth term of a different sequence is 3n minus 1. We have to find the first number that appears in both sequences. Now for this, I'm going to list out the first few terms in both sequences. So for sequence 1, which is 6n plus 5, the first term would be 6 multiplied by 1, which is 6, plus 5, 11. The second term, 6 multiplied by 2, is 12, plus 5, is 17. The third term, 6 multiplied by 3, is 18, plus 5, 23. We'll do one more. The fourth term, 6 times 4. 24 plus 5 is 29. And I notice that the steps are in sixes as the formula is 6 times n plus 5. Sequence 2, which is 3n minus 1, I'm going to do the same thing. Substituting first n equals 1, 3 times 1 is 3. Minus 1 is 2, 3 twos is 6, minus 1 is 5, 3 threes are 9, minus 1 is 8, 3 fours are 12, minus 1 is 11. At this point, I'm going to stop because I can see that I've got 11 in this sequence and 11 in this sequence. And so the first number that appears in both sequences is 11.